Howdy, AP Breakout. It's Ms. Kosh. We are looking at um, 310 Part 2. So now we just did, um, well, where did it go? How many pages did it take me? Uh, maybe a couple. We just did 310 Part 1. So it looked something like, oh, it started to look like this. Okay, there we go. Um, and now, so that was equations. That's what I wanted to say. That's why I was showing you. And now we're going to do inequalities. Okay, so... Um, similarly, we can solve inequalities involving trig functions. So now they're saying we have this graph from negative 2 pi to 2 pi. And for which values is the graph less than 0? Well, less than 0 would be this piece and this piece. Oh, less than or equal to 0. Oh, okay. We can equal 0. Um, and so the answer would be from we equal 0 at negative pi, so that's fine. We equal 0 at 0. And then we pick it up again from pi to 2 pi. And we can equal all those things. So I have been writing most of my problems where they don't include. So I've, I would have put just like less than signs here. And I would have put just the less than sign here. Um, but we should pay attention. So maybe I shouldn't be so restricted to that kind of world. All right. Um, solving inequality is easy when we were given a graph. If only all problems were so simple. No kidding. Um, and I'll, uh, for simpler inequalities, we will solve one that all involve one trigonometric expression, we can often just use our understanding of the unit circle. Oh, okay. Um, so what are all values for which sine of theta is greater than or equal to root 2 over 2? Well, sine of theta equals root 2 over 2 here. Um, okay, since sine is the vertical displacement, we're looking at all possible angle measures where the y-coordinate is at least that. Oh, this is clever. I haven't taught it this way. Hey, hey, I kind of like this. Um, so we want to know, notice between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4, all of those will be equal to root 2 or 2 or bigger. So, like, here's that y value. That y value gets bigger over here. Um, nice. Okay, so what did we say? It would include, it would go from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. What I had been doing would be taking a number line and saying, okay, we're living between 0 and pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 on our number line, and then, well, 2 pi maybe, and then plugging in values. But this is, I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, let's look at the next one. What are the values for um, where f is less than g? Okay, so if I say, I want to find out where they're equal, and so I can subtract 4, gives me negative 1 divided by 2, gives me negative 1 half. Cosine equals negative half. Okay, so what would I do with this graph? I would, well, first of all, I know that between 0 and 2 pi, cosine equals negative 1 half at 2 pi over 3 and at 4 pi over 3. So to be honest with you, what I would probably do is think of what my graph would look like. Um, so cosine is going to start at the very top, and the highest it's ever going to get is going to be 6. And so it's at 6, and then its midline is at 4. So this is 6, and this is 4, and this is 2. And so we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. We're graphing something like this. And they said, okay, when are we bigger than 3? Right? No, when, are we, when is f less than 3? So this would be 2 pi over 3. You can't see that. This right here is 2 pi over 3. This is 4 pi over 3. So we're going to live in that world. Um, and so we could not be equal to each other. So we're just going to say it's from 2 pi over 3 to 4 pi over 3. And hopefully I'm right. We can also plug in a value. Let's see. If I plug in, if I'm thinking unit circle, 2 pi over 3 and then 4 pi over 3, pi is between those. So if I plug in pi, if I say f of pi is equal to 4 plus 2 cosine of pi, cosine of pi is equal to negative 1, 2 times, um, which is, okay, so 4 plus 2 times negative 1, that's equal to 2. Is 2 less than 3? It is. Okay, so that's encouraging. Okay. Um, using sine charts. Oh, so this is where he wanted me to use sine charts. It's coming up. Uh, what, are all the, what are the values of x in the xy plane for which, okay, so let's set them equal. Oh, that's clever. I haven't written problems like that. I like that. Subtract this, and I have 2 cosine x is equal to root 3 divided by 2. Cosine, that's an s. X, that looks even worse. Um, equals root 3 over 2. Cosine is the x value. We're over here and here. So this is, um, yeah. Okay, so now I want to know what I would probably do. So here was um, pi over 6 and then 11 pi over 6. 
what I might look at is what happens when I plug in pi, because that's the, or well, let's see, what happens when I plug in um, uh, pi over two? Pi over two is zero. So is zero greater than root three? It is not. Um, so that's not the part we want. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking is gonna happen here is that we're gonna go from, well, this, I would have done a sign chart with this. I think we need to go from zero to pi over six. Um, oh, does it have a hard bracket? And then pick it up again from 11 pi over six. We don't wanna be equal, so those have to be soft brackets, but we, I think we can equal these. Let's see, if I plug in zero, I have cosine of zero is one, so that's three, and then one plus root three, three. Um, root three is less than two. So this is gonna be smaller, so yes, this is bigger, so we do want that, and that value is okay. And then this is gonna to go to two pi, and we can plug that in, because that gives us the same, the same situation. Um, some of these are tricky, you guys, they're kind of fun. Okay, um, let's come back to the next video for, um, oh, well, there's two more problems. I think I still will come back to the next video. So one more video to finish up this part. Partly, I'm thirsty.